But we now know that the original work comparing chimp and human DNA had serious flaws. Yeah. Let's consider a few. Number one, the first comparisons between chimp and human genes used only small snippets of DNA where it was assumed that overlap would be found. Let's use an analogy to understand the issue. Pretend that you have two different thousand piece puzzles and you want to know how similar they are. If you match the blue pieces together, you will find almost exact matches in shape and color between some of the pieces from the two puzzles. But that isn't right. You have only compared a small portion of the pieces, so that's not a good indicator of how similar the puzzles are. And that is the problem. One study compared 97 protein coding sections of chimp DNA, but there are more than 234,000 protein coding wow. sections in human DNA. So that's the first issue. Number two is that researchers didn't consider major portions of the DNA, which they call junk DNA. Mm. So-called junk DNA is part of the DNA supposedly left over from long ages of evolutionary processes. But we now know that there is no such thing as junk DNA. So true. Recent studies have shown that the areas of DNA between genes guide numerous complex regulatory functions. For example, controlling the extraction of information from genes for the creation of proteins. Number three, it was discovered that the original samples of chimp DNA were contaminated with human DNA. Wow. <laughs> so there's evolutionary bias affecting how the experiments are set up, and now there's shoddy science. Right, yeah. Even a breath of a lab assistant can carry DNA and mix with the sample being analyzed. This is like someone mixing blue pieces from two separate puzzles and comparing them to a picture of one of the original puzzles. Today, proper DNA decoding requires that rigorous clean room procedures be followed. Hmm. But the problem is even worse. The fourth flaw in the research is an entire set of genetic information for chimps didn't yet exist. Oh, well. <laughs> so it was assumed that the uh, chimp DNA samples could be mapped to portions of the human genetic information. Right. Th think of the puzzles again. Let's say that one puzzle, once complete, will show children playing ball in the park under a blue sky with puffy clouds. But you don't have the original box with the picture, so you don't know yet what the completed picture is supposed to look like. But since there are lots of blue pieces, you assume that they're for sky. Sure. So you take out a different puzzle box that has a picture of a blue sky with puffy clouds, but they're over a snow-capped mountain with forests. Hold on. We know that using the picture of the second puzzle as a guide is not going to help us assemble the first puzzle. Yep, but that's what the original researchers did. Oh, wow. They assumed that chimp DNA would be like the human DNA when they made their comparisons. So the original study that claimed a 98.5% overlap between chimps and humans used a biased assumption. The researchers assumed that chimps and humans share a common set of DNA, and that assumption was based on the belief that chimps and humans evolved from a common ancestor.